Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. Hey, guys, I've got a treat for you. I've got a CEO who's going to share some information about his mining company. But, hey, before we get to that, let me let you know about a surprise gaw. Take a look right here. This right here, this T the Silver Stacker channel slab will be given away to one lucky viewer of this video and uh, if you watch the video if you're a subscriber and you make a comment on the video hey guess what you're eligible i didn't even put it on the thumbnail so you're in the know and so uh thanks for tuning in enjoy this interview and at the end i've got a few more details about this gauze so be sure to stay till the end thanks for watching everybody enjoy All right. Hey, here we go. Uh, I'm uh, joined today by Mr. Jonathan Moore of Star Peak Mining, ticker symbol STRPF. And he's going to tell me and you, my viewers, a little bit about his mining company out of Canada. Mr. Moore, thank you for joining me and welcome to the channel. Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's always good to talk uh, talk rocks, as I say. <laughs> So zinc and copper is that the uh, the main metal you're finding there? Well, it's it's we we got lucky because we're in a gold district. Okay, there was a major discovery made by our neighbors, Amex Exploration, roughly two years prior to us getting started on this on this land that we acquired, and um, we actually uh, were all investors, early investors in that company, and did very well. Um, still going well, by the way. They've drilled in excess of four hundred thousand meters to date, and they've got about sixty million in cash and 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 doing well. Um, the share price isn't, but nothing seems to be kind of trading where it should be. Mm -hmm. um, we aggressively acquired a, a package and we went and acquired another uh, parcel, which was a past producing mine. And that was a, a big feat for a company uh, like us, but we could do it because we have very strong management. We have the financing capability. And um, that mine was a VMS deposit. And what VMS is, it's volcanic, volcanogenic massive sulfides, and it's a basket of zinc, copper, silver, gold. It's got all of them uh, wow. combi combined. So what I like to do is I like to increase the probabilities that I can actually hit something early stage. Mm -hmm. So when I have a big discovery on my left and I got a past producer on my right and I'm drilling right in the middle of it, uh -huh. I, I've increased my probabilities uh, greatly by uh, by doing that and and we got uh on the on our first few holes we hit we hit a very big vms style hole as i explained a lot of zinc copper obviously big silver gold in there as well and uh we've now drilled in excess of eighty thousand meters not wow. stopping um and really it's um we're we're firing on all cylinders it's it's going exceptionally well and we're building up this resource well, the copper is amazing. I mean, if you go to the store and you need to <laughs> buy uh, some copper wire for your house, uh, you know, the prices are through the roof. And, uh, you know, there are guys in my little niche, my silver stacking, uh, gold stacking. There's guys st stacking copper now <laughs> because the prices have risen to the point where they think it warrants that. And, you know, rightly so when you look at the charts. Well, it's it's there's shortages. And this is this is the thing which... You know, we're focused mainly on the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar price is going up, hence commodity prices are coming down. But take a look at the shortages of these commodities. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere near the amount of production that we're currently getting or coming onto stream that will offset any of the demand that is currently sitting in the marketplace. And that demand is only going to get greater and greater. You see, mm -hmm. copper is an interesting one because you can use it in the in the battery metals. It's it's a it's a conductor. So for all this electrification of the grid, copper is one of the main components. Sure. Now, an interesting feat that we're doing right now on Star Peak is the deeper we're drilling. Now, remember I mentioned that past producing uh, mine that we picked up. Uh, right. They produced uh, historically 10.1 million tons of zinc, copper. Uh, just call it zinc and copper because that was the main commodity they they, they produced out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, they they produced that throughout the 1900s. Now, in yesterday's technology, yes. yesterday's expertise, that's that's a very large mine in Canada's history of production. Now, the only reason why they shut it down was the prices of all these metals collapsed. That was okay. in the early 1980s. Now, the deeper we're going, they produce down to 2.3 kilometers under the earth. That's what their zones were. They went all the way down. Okay. We've only scratched the surface up to about 900 meters. Now we're right now currently drilling a deep hole. And what this deep hole, we're calling it the mother hole. 
okay. is actually the deeper we're going, the copper is getting greater and is getting richer. Wow. And that and that's the exciting part about what we're doing because we believe that the prize here, it's gonna be a, an absolute what they call a lens or a mirror. So what we see on that past producer, we see mm -hmm. it again on ours. And that's our theory that they, we believe that there's two structures sitting side by side and we're we've just scratched the surface of it and our drills are now going down to the copper rich zones, which is really exciting. That is fantastic. Uh, what do you think is in store for the company in the next uh, few weeks, months, uh, and the rest of 2022? Well, we're sitting on some uh, some drill uh, results to put out, and uh, we're just waiting for, uh, you know, the delays at the lab have been a little tiresome because, uh, you know, with labor shortages or whatever it might be. But uh, yes, even in the mining space, when you put a, some core in for assay, it takes time. It takes longer in, in today's world. Yes. So we're, we're patient, but all I can promise people is that there will be constant news flow. The drills are turning. Um, you know, I look back and see where I was a year ago. I was uh, hitting all time highs a year ago up to three at 350 US. I even raised huge institutional money at, uh, I think it was about uh, four, what was it at 380 Canadian, which is equivalent to about 330 US. We raised an additional six or 7 million. Mm -hmm. I'm a far better company today than I was a year ago. And I'm trading now at, uh, you know, 90 cents US and I can't take it personally, but that's just the way the market has played out. And, you know, when you have a liquidity crunch, like we saw in the market, um, I think what has happened is when people need to raise money, they have to sell stock mm -hmm. and it's the stocks that have done well, which have been punished the most because what are you going to sell a stock trading at two bucks? You're going to start sell a stock trading at 40 cents. You're probably going to sell the one at two because obviously you can sell less of it to create that money that you have to get. So okay. we've seen a real big shift in this market. You know, good, good companies. I could give you a list of them have just been decimated uh, for no, you know, nothing that they're doing anything wrong. It's just, it's a cycle of the market that we're in. Um, I, you know, we've seen a huge pullback recently in, in the gold price the last couple of days. And uh, I think we're, honestly just getting our set ourselves set up for a massive move finally the one that we've all been waiting for and i really think we're just around the corner so that's the way we're, that we're playing it well that certainly presents an opportunity for those who are in the know uh like the folks that are watching this video right now uh you know a year or two from now your stock was certainly not going to be at 90 cents so i would certainly encourage my viewers to uh you know after this video uh, do a little more of their own due diligence and I, i've taken a look at your website and uh, there's some great information there as well yeah i mean it's uh it's an exciting story like i said it gives you exposure to multiple metals um i think we have really de-risked this play you know this isn't just an exploration play now we have made a discovery and every day with our drills there's two drills currently going we're expanding and building the resource and that's really the phase where you can add value very quickly and, you know, there's a lot of crap out there in this market. And I, and I caution your viewers. I mean, you know, when anytime you see a, a, you know, a mining company coming out of Vancouver, oh God, look, look out. I mean, it's, 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 you know, there's a street in Vancouver, which is the uh, kind of the center of business. It's called Howe Street, you know, in New York, it's Wall Street. Toronto is Bay Street. Well, in Vancouver, it's Howe Street. Let me tell you this, Howe Street is the only street in the world that's shady on both sides. Okay. Always remember that. So just do your homework and really go with companies that actually have active drill programs, have made a discovery, have good management, and have done it before. And I think um, hopefully you guys will uh, you know, take advantage of this opportunity, which in my, in my mind, this is once in a lifetime. What a lot of my viewers and I are really worried about is that, you know, the money printing that's been going on for the last two, three years. It's just unprecedented believe me i believe we're in the second inning on this stuff i don't think we've seen anything yet mm -hmm. and this inflation isn't going away the fed can say whatever they want in my mind the fed are and i'm sorry to say this i'm sorry if i'm offending anyone the fed are absolutely useless they're clowns they never they said they never saw this incoming before december and now it's all they talk about like mm -hmm. come on guys you're you're driving the biggest economy in the world and you're being, and, and how could you be this wrong? Now it's all they, I mean, it's just, it's disgusting. So take advantage of it. Get your exposure to these metals uh, and, and mining stocks. And let's see what happens here in the next six months to 12 months. And then from there on in for the next several years, because really it's early, early innings right now. 
Yeah, Mr. Moore, I can tell you're passionate about, uh, you know, what you're doing there. And I appreciate uh, your honesty and your, your candid answers. Uh, before, uh, you know, we say goodbye, was there anything, uh, any other points you'd like my viewers to hear? No, I think just listen, stay strong. Um, try not to look at the tape every day. It, it'll drive you insane. I think you see a few gray hairs in my hair, but that's probably what has caused it. But uh, listen, just stay true to it and uh, you'll get rewarded. It's uh, history repeats itself. That's the other thing. History always repeats itself. And in times like this, this is what you should be doing. There's a secular move. People are selling their Netflix stocks. Sell, people are selling their Facebook stocks and they're going to start buying commodities. I think we're going to leave it right there. Uh, and I appreciate the time and I wish you the best. And uh, I will uh, be keeping a close eye on uh, Star Peak Mining. And I'm hoping uh, my viewers will too. I appreciate the opportunity and good luck out there. Thank you. Okay, guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching to this point in the video. And uh, here you go, right here. Uh, this guy will be given away, or this angel will be given away to uh, one lucky viewer. So all you have to do, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is to uh, watch the video, leave a comment. Uh, my final request to you is uh, just hit that like button so it gets seen by more people. Hey, don't forget, I am not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and please consider Star Peak Mining for those of you who are considering investing in the junior miners. Sounds like a good one. Hey, thanks everybody. Cheers.